So the first wash is going to go on the um, this wetted area. So I'm just going to add a little bit more water again to my wall area because it's dried out a touch. So there we are, a bit of water. So I'm going to take the ochre yellow colour that I've mixed up in my palette and start to bring that. It's quite light. I don't want it too strong because this is all going to be shadow. Um, or in shadow up the top here. And I want the wall to stay fairly creamy. So we'll just let that run down, a bit more ochre. Over the top, and as you can see, some of the, some of the gesso is actually showing through quite nicely at the moment. So we'll let that run and bleed. And then I'm gonna to start to wash that out down the bottom. So just adding water now, so just water. Take it all the way to the bottom out of the painting. Same on this right hand side, just water. There we go, all the way to the side and then away. Oops, got a paintbrush running over myself. So now, whilst that's doing whatever it's going to do, I'm going to start to bring some colour into my door section. So that it bleeds out a little bit into the outer area, but not too much, hopefully. So remember, this middle part here is dry. So I'm going to take my tealy colour, put a little bit more cerulean in that. So it's a very light blue turquoise colour. So it's some cerulean and some cobalt teal, is the two colours that I've got here. And then I'm going to start to bring this now into my doorway. I'm not going to go right to the very edge just yet. I'm just going to come in a little bit from the edge. And remember, this is painting now onto dry paper. So coming round the wooden frame down. I'm not going to worry too much about the um, those white bits in the door window. Uh, sorry, behind those bars. I'm just going to paint all over that. Coming all the way down. Almost painting it like a big, just a big rectangle. Um, and as I come further down the door, so down into the lowest section, I'm just going to put the paint on to start off with and I might wash a little bit of it out to get some get some patchiness to the blue. I don't want it to be totally uniform. So coming all the way down to my step. Right to the bottom. I'm going to put a bit more colour at the top. So more cerulean into the blue into the top section. So I want to add a bit more paint up here, so it's a bit stronger. So I thicken the paint up, so I can go back into the wash. So there's more paint in this and less water coming down. There we go. Keep it coming down through that middle section bit more turquoise, put some more of that at the top. So all of this up the top here is going to actually be in shadow, so I want enough blue in it um, so that when I paint over the shadow colours it will still be pretty blue. So we'll let that run down the doorway. Just straighten it up a little bit. So make sure the edges of the door are relatively even. And then maybe a bit more through the centre here. More turquoise. Okay. 
There you go. Okay, and I'll just let that, I might put a few spots here and there to add more patchiness to the, to the wash. So the wash is going to be fairly uneven um, on purpose because that's going to add to the the uh, effect of the wood not being too new looking. So I'm putting more blue now, more cerulean blue, fairly neat into my um, wood frame. So this is just using it almost, almost out of the tube sort of strength into that already wet paint. So just to get some variation into these blues. Even at this early stage, it's quite nice to get some variation in the color because it all melds together quite nicely. There we go, a bit more of that blue under this edge, just in there. <clears throat> a bit more cerulean. So to do this, make sure you are using it, if you are doing this, then fairly neat so that the paint doesn't spread too quickly. As you can see there, it's pretty, pretty neat blue. Take that up on that side of the door. Just break into the frame there a little bit. And then we'll start to get a little bit of the underside of the first panel of the door here, a little bit darker. Again, just using the cerulean blue not changed the colour yet, it's just a cerulean blue, but still very neat into what is a fairly wet door area. So I'm going to bring this middle section, start to bring that down, which comes in there, got some dark in this bit or darker bits in there and again on this side coming down and then it's darkish that side it's pretty dark coming down this right hand side of the door i'm going to pop some of that in coming all the way down to the bottom. And as we come down here, I'm just gonna break that color up a little bit. It's a bit too even. Add a bit of, a little bit, it's actually dried out too much then now. So I can't do that just yet. I'll bring some more of this blue just on this edge. The framework where it's starting to meet the, the plaster of the wall. I can just bring a touch of that in there. Probably got a little bit too strong in there. Let's just wash that out a bit. Just going to bleed that out into the wall a bit more. Right, that's fine. So let's lift out that. Might just start to put in a little bit of the blue detail. Still using the turquoise and the cerulean together. Bring an indication of the edge of these panels. A little bit more colour there, a bit more colour here, and then this middle mm, 
piece of the door. Just bring that down. Okay, and then at the bottom down here, where it's meeting the edge of the, the paper's dried a bit too much here now, but I will just use a damp brush and just soften that in. So it's not too solid. Just break that up a bit. Might just make a little indication about where the, the door meets the step. Hopefully that will creep up a little bit. Sorry. So I'm going to let the door just do whatever it's going to do now on its own. And I'm going to go into my little electric box, wash my brush out. So I'm going to make a gray up now. And for that, I'm going to use some Payne's gray. And into the Payne's gray, I'm going to just use my same turquoise colors. I've just used in the door, but more gray in it, obviously. And a bit of ochre. Oh, that's a lot of ochre. I should have done that. Let's just put more gray in it. There we go. So it's kind of an, um, a warmish gray is what I want. Maybe a little bit of yellow as well, I think. More yellow. There we go. Might get your green. A bit browner. A bit of brown in there as well. Then that's better. I'm just putting some burnt sienna into it. So, just recap on that colour. It is a burnt sienna, the teal, the cobalt. Oh, sorry, the the cerulean blue. Uh, a bit of yellow, which has given me this colour. So I'm going to use this to just to start to detail up. This is dry paper, by the way. So I'm just going to use this just to get some of the little bits of grey and um, some of the shapes that I'm seeing within this little box. And then there's a little bit there. Then we've got some shadow, <coughs> which I think I'm a bit bluer. So some more serene in that. So the shadow coming underneath the, the little electric box it comes down the wall. It's a little bit too wet still, the paper to shape that up too much. So I'm just going to leave that to bleed. I'm going to also put a bit of that same grey that I've just used here into this panel in the middle. If it's dry enough, I'll flatten the board out so that we don't get too much bleed. Might be okay. So over the over the masking fluid that I've already got on and I'm just trying to keep it to mainly the middle section of the panel. Take that up and then uh, that's one. I'll do that on this one. Same again. So if it is still wet on the outer edge, then don't take the wash right to the edge. Just take it almost to the edge of the shape, but give it room to bleed a bit. Otherwise you'll end up it bleeding too far. So there we are. That's that. Now I'm gonna put some blues into my wall area because I've actually got some nice blue bits of plaster. I'm going to use the same blue that I've just used for the 
door, which is the cerulean and the teal. I'm just mixing those together again. And because my paper's dried out a bit now, I'm just I'm going to wet the area or the shape that I want to drop this blue into. I'm going to have a section coming along there. And I'm going to have a section on this side going out the right hand side of the painting. Taking the colour, a little bit more blue. I can start to drop that and be stronger. Get some stronger paint. There we go. Take this down and out. So I'm just going to keep this edge at the bottom here fairly abstract. Don't want it to be too too straight. And we'll do the same on this left hand side. So more turquoise, more cerulean. Just going to flatten the board out a bit more. There we are. Coming down the side of the outer part of the frame, across, hitting that nice bit of gesso there, giving me some nice texture. All the way out of the picture. So that's the blue panel done. I think before I finish up this first wash, I'm going to drop in a, little, a bit more ochre and some orange because I'm seeing some stronger orangey colours. Tiny bit of the brown in there as well to warm it up up into this area. And again, I'm just going to wet, re wet it a little bit. So it's not too dry and then drop my ready brown colors into that wet area take that right to the top a bit stronger perhaps I'll have a little bit of that on this side. So I'm going to have like a, a pole coming up through this middle section. So we'll just break up this area there and hit some of those gesso parts. And then I think I'd also have a piece of that coming in on this left hand side to break up all the blue. I it's going to be very blue paintings. I'm going to drop some of these nice warm orangey browns into here. So it's a darker patch of pasta, uh, pasta, plaster. Might even have some of that a bit more ochre at the bottom of the door. Again, I'm just going to drop some water, drop in my colour, some more ochre in this bit of colour, drop some ochre into these areas as well, break those up, pull that up into the door a bit. There's actually some nice orangey colours in the door itself. on the wood. Put some of those in. So this has got water in this brush so I'm just wetting the area first before I drop the colour in. So that the colours can mix and bleed. 
uh, I might have a tiny bit of that yellow. I'm going to put a bit of the green, uh, the, the turquoise in it as well. Lots of water. I'll just drop that onto my step. So that I've got some colour just at the bottom of the door. Wash that out. Okay, there we are. So that's probably enough for the first wash. I'm going to use is going to be a deep blue. So I'm going to go into some ultramarine into my teal colour. So the same teal colour I had earlier. I'm going to use ultramarine and I'm going to use Payne's grey. Quite strong. And more ultramarine. <clears throat> So it's quite a deep blue. And then I'm going to start to, oops, trying to drip that everywhere. I'm going to tip it away and I'm going to start the shadow from this wet area, but not right on the edge of the wet area, just at the top. And I'm going to come across my door all the way across. A bit more paint. So hopefully it's going to start to bleed up into that water. And then I'm going to use the bead to take it all the way up. So I'm going to run it all the way up the, the, the picture, comes out the side there. Then all of this is going to be dark. Dark, dark, dark. Continuing all the way to the top. So all the way around. I'm going to leave these windows lighter in there because I'm going to put some dark into those in a moment. Take that right to the top of the picture. There we go. A bit more blue. Some more ultramarine, I feel. Down at the shadow edge. A bit more in the door, in places. Take that right out of the picture there. So I'm not really entirely sure what that shadow is doing on that side, but I'm just going to make some holes in it. Perhaps there's a window casting a shadow across it. Some more shadow coming over this side and then away. Just run some more colour into that. There's some broken shapes. Like so. I'm just going to give that a little spray. Just a tiny bit more uniform. Just put a little bit more colour in the right hand side, a bit more Payne's grey in here. A bit too light there. Just going to run a bit more shadow through it. I have a little bit more shadow up here right at the top because I'm trying to focus the light obviously into the bottom the bottom area so I don't want any of this top section to be too light. Just a bit more Payne's grey there. A few more bits. All right, now before it dries, I'm just going to take a damp brush, run it around this doorway. Don't want it too strong, this edge. And I'll come back and I'll sort that out in a moment. Just soften that off. Not particularly straight, but never mind. <coughs> Take the same shadow colour and I'm going to run it through the bars, I think, just to keep it all. Um, actually, the no, I'm going to take it and leave the bars light and I'm going to make the window darker. I'm going to paint in the window section, leaving the bars the lighter colour. 
and I'm going to leave a little bit of a band around the edge, which is like the frame of the window. So this is just using the same color I put on for the shadow. Leaving a little bit of a band just around the edge for the window frame. Just get these panes in. I'll pop a little bit of orangey brown into that as well, just some variation. Just so it's not one, just one color. We've got another bar there. And across. Hard to keep my hand steady while I'm leaning over the shadow. So that comes down. And then we've got another pane here. One more. And then the last one on this right hand side. <clears throat> so we'll just let that let that dry. And mop up the front of tissue. Just this area. Stop that running back as I tip the board. Um, the right way up again. So I'm just going to let the board come this way now. Too much glare on now, I need to tip it a bit more. Hopefully you can still see that okay. Next thing then, while that's while that's doing what it's doing, I'm just going to pop a bit more of that orangey brown, the burnt sienna kind of colour, into this shadow because I don't want it to be just blue. I want there to have a bit more variation in it. A few bits of rusty browny kind of colours here and there. Look at that on this side. Whilst it's still wet. Put there in that um, cracked bit of plaster. Have some up the top here. So this is using the colour fairly, fairly neat. And not not too much water in it. I take some of the ochre actually into that same rusty colour. Bring a bit of that in there because obviously the blues, the yellows, oranges they work quite nicely together. We'll have some of those in there, and I'll do this while it's wet so that they can merge together quite nicely. Picking out some of the shapes in my gesso. Do the same on the right hand side. Have a few, few bits here and there. A little bit along the doorway. Just to pick out the edge of the doorway. Perhaps a teeny bit across the top. A little bit in the door itself. 
come down that middle middle section piece on this window there maybe a little bit more to pick out the top of the frame <clears throat> And we may just need a bit more blue, cerulean blue, fairly neat. Just going to pick out a few shapes on this right hand, left hand side. I know a lot of you don't have walls, so you might be able, really be able to do this. So I just want a few bluer notes here and there. a little bit on this side as well the edge of the edge of the shadow i want some of the cerulean mixing with the other colors that are there on the doorway itself we'll have a bit of that so this is almost straight out of the tube again this blue Get some of that on the door. Some on the, the door panel itself. Perhaps a bit through the central section. A bit more there. And take some of that same cerulean blue with my rigger. So just with a rigger, using it a little bit dry. Gonna add in my some of the verticals for these bars. I'll bring some brown into that as well. So I can well imagine there'll be a bit of rust on these bars. And also it'll help to create the edge of the framework. Have a bit of the top. So just the burnt sienna colour. to get the edge of the, um, the window in. I'll let that dry. I'm going to take some more burnt sienna. Put some of that in the, in the doorway around these panes. Again, I'm using the paint fairly neat. more of that around this doorway and then also bring a little bit of that down break through the shadow just to link it into the actual frame itself Let's have some of that down the bottom here coming back up. A few dark bits down there at the bottom of the door. 
this. <clears throat> Let me go back into my little electric box now. Take the same shadow colour, which is the dark paint grey blue colour. Get some of that on here. This is too light. Got a shape to this shadow, so I'm going to try and get the feeling of it having a bit more shape. So this is on dry paper. A bit more blue in that. Ultramarine. More shadow under here. In the actual window pane. Or blue running down the side. This pole thing that's coming down there. It might be a little drain pipe or something. <clears throat> uh, I'll bring a little bit of that blue into my crack here, the edge of the crack. So this is the bit where obviously it's. Um, not receiving much light. I'll just run a bit more sh of this darker blue up the edge of the window there, and down the side, more bluey browns. On this left hand side, so around the framework, get all these little cracks and crevices between the woodwork and the plaster. So that's coming down. Got my little step here, so I'll give that a little crack in it. Do little dits and dots on that. We've got the edge of the framework here that can come darker, which is the main section. So that's going to come darker down there. In the centre. <clears throat> right, 